Welcome back to Carry Yarn. This is Kat, your fearless leader. Today we are going to continue our beginner crochet series with the half double crochet. It is the mid stitch between the single crochet and double crochet. It creates a nice sturdy fabric and is pretty versatile. When looking at a written pattern, it will be abbreviated HDC. Today I'm using a 4.5 millimeter Addy Swing hook and peaches and cream yarn in the colorway beach house. For practice purposes, you can use any weight yarn and hook that you're comfortable with. Let's get started. Now, if you haven't gone and watched my previous video on how to make a chain and a slip knot, go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to link it down below. Like with single crochet, you're going to start with additional chains in order to keep your stitches at the number your pattern calls for. I've already chained 20 stitches, but with the half double crochet, you're going to actually go in and you're going to chain two additional stitches. So go ahead and yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, and pull through the loop. So instead of starting like the single crochet here, you're actually going to be starting in the third chain from the hook. So you don't count this one, it's one, two, three. Okay? Now you're going to yarn over so that you have yarn on top of your hook, like so. And you're going to go into that third leg, you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop so that you have three loops on top of your crochet hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull that yarn through all three of your loops. You've made your first half double crochet. Again, yarn over. Make sure that the yarn is on top of the crochet hook. Go into that next leg. Pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. You've made two. Continue going until you've reached the last stitch on your chain and I will show you what to do when it comes to turning. As you can see, I, I've nearly completed an entire row of half double crochet. I've left the last chain to show you what to do when you're going to turn your work. So go ahead and yarn over. Make sure that the yarn is on top of the crochet hook. Go into the last chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through the three loops that are on your crochet hook. Now you've completed your first row of half double crochet. What you're going to do now, like single crochet, is you're actually going to chain, but instead of chaining one, you're going to chain two. So you're going to yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop, and you're going to actually turn your work so that the side that you completed is now facing the opposite direction and the tail from the slip knot is on the right hand side. So you've gone in and you've created two chains. That's going to count as the first stitch. So you're going to actually go in and skip this V here. What you're going to do is go into the second V here. You're going to yarn over and you're going to go through and put that V on top of your crochet hook like we did with our single crochet. We're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops on the hook. Yarn over, put the V on top of your crochet hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. Continue doing that until you come to the last stitch on this row and I'm going to show you what to do. As you can see, I've completed up to the last stitch on our second row of half double crochet. I wanted to show you how to complete this row because it can be a little tricky for people that aren't used to crochet. So what you're going to do is you're going to locate that chain that we created at the first of our row. And you'll notice that it's right in here. See? Right there. 
you're going to actually go in, yarn over, and you're going to go into that chain hole. Pull up a loop, and then you're going to yarn over through all three. You'll notice that it has completed your second row, and you're going to follow the steps that you did prior. So you're going to go ahead and chain two, one, two, flip your work over, and you'll notice that your tail is right back on the left-hand side. You're going to skip that first stitch because you've already created your stitch with the two chains. You're going to yarn over and go into that little V. Make sure that the V is on top of your crochet hook. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Continue doing that until you feel comfortable. Once you think that you have mastered the half double crochet, come back and I will teach you how to double crochet. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you've liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.